Good afternoon everybody. Today is Tuesday the 12th of December 2023 and this is Floss Dupe Extra number 3. It's the one I've mentioned in my last few videos that I was going to do once all my Christmas gifts were complete, which they now are bar one, but I need to sew the other one together, So, but I will show you what that is. It's because I need to send some of the, some of it's got to get sent off because it's for an exchange, so it's it's got to get in the post. Um, just in case you don't know who I am, I'm Lindsay, I'm the Cheshire Stitcher. My channel is mostly about cross stitch, but today's is all about bead weaving, bar one stitch and finish. So we'll make a start, shall we? Oh, by the way, this is Rosie, my old girl. There's Twitch then, did you see that? Liz is upstairs asleep on the bed, where she usually is. But, you know, that's fine. So, let's make a start, shall we? Oh, I'm going to post this video between Christmas and New Year. So, I hope you've had a lovely Christmas and you're going to have a wonderful New Year. I can't post it any earlier because my daughter won't be here till between Christmas and New Year. So, if I post it any sooner, you shall see what she's getting for Christmas. So let's make a start. Anyway, so here we go. There's my first one. This is for my 11 year old grandson. This is the Snowman Shooting Star Ornament by Threadabead. The pattern doesn't do jingle, jingle, dingle. Jingle bells on the bottom, but it's a Christmas ornament and I like to put jingle bells on. So we've got a 2023 charm on there that you can just see peeping. And these are little beaded beads. So that's 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 for my 11-year-old grandson. Also from Thread a Bead. This is for my three-year-old. Not my three-year-old, my three-year-old grandson. We have a snowman tube ornament, as you can see. It's beaded around a tube, obviously in a tube ornament there used to be a company that sold their beads in tubes and they are the ideal size but you can buy the empty tubes from Thread bead so this one is for the three-year-old grandson as you can see i've done him a snowman this year there is a full set of these so there's the snowman there's a penguin and a santa which you're going to see in a minute uh, but there's also a gingerbread man, there's a reindeer, there's a nutcracker. And I think there's something else. And I know there's a fairy, but I have grandsons. I'm not going to do a fairy. So that one's for the three-year-old. So next year, the two-year-old grandson will get that one. This year, the two-year-old grandson's getting this one, which is the penguin. Obviously. Talk about stating the obvious. Again, I added Jingle Bells and a 2023 charm. Obviously, it, it just needs some ribbon on it now, but I've lent my red ribbons to Jeanette. So by the time these are ready to, for me to actually gift, then they will have ribbons on them because that should get them back this week. So next year, my one-year-old grandson will get the penguin. But this year, said one-year-old grandson is getting the Santa. Now, the Santa was the very first ornament I did back in July when I started on my Christmas ornaments. And for some reason, I didn't put any bells on the bottom of him. I have no idea why I did that. Because normally, I make a Christmas ornament, it's like, it's Christmas, it's got to have a bell on it. And I didn't. So I might, when I put some ribbon on it, might add a few to the ribbon, just so that he's got a few jingle bells on it. Yeah, and he's got a 2023 charm on him. So that means now that the three youngest grandsons all now have a Santa. Again, pattern from Thread of Bees. So, right, next we'll do the ornaments that have got to be, well, one of them's got to be sent off. It's for an exchange. Again, this pattern is from Thread of Bead. There we go. It's the snowman parade ornament again i put jingle bells on the bottom you might be able to hear that 
these ones some some don't tinkle very well and this one has a golden 2023 on it the other ones there's four of these all together two are for my girls one is for an exchange and one is as a gift for Jeanette they're all slightly different so this one has bugle beads on it but oh where's that thread come from it's not a thread it's a hair they're all the the pattern is the same for each of them i've just made slight changes so like this one i put bugle beads on because i fancied using bugle beads and it's got little um what circular bubbles i don't know it was just, wouldn't know really what you know but they were just there i had them in a bag that i got from spellbound so i decided i would use those along with the bugle beads for that one then we have again the same thing slightly different this one has gold jingle bells on the bottom they do all have a 2023 on them but it's an identical pattern each time. It's just I've made slight variations. I want to make one more for me. I've had this pattern for donkey's years, made it several times for different exchanges, but I've never actually made one for me. So I'm thinking that when I do come to make it for me, I'm going to put one of those large bells, you know those big bells you can buy in packs for to put on your tree? I'm going to see if I can put a, a large bell in mine. I'll probably still put jingle bells on the bottom as well. But again, jingle bells, this one's red and silver with more of those little um, spherical um, beads, larger spherical beads. They're so nice to make. I mean, this, this snowman, he's lovely. You string everything on then you make one side of the snowman, then you make the other side of the snowman, and then you go back up and make the next one. They're so nice to do, and, and they're reasonably quick. I mean, I only be for a couple of hours at most in the morning, so each one of these took me about a week, on and off. You know, like I say, I didn't bead every day. Um, Each year, I make my eldest daughter a bookmark. This, that's this year's bookmark. She's very much into Sugar Skulls and Doctor Who. She has a few Doctor Who, but mostly they are Sugar Skull ones. Yes, this one has an eye on it and I don't like doing faces, but when I'm working, I can't see it. I fold it over so I can't see it. And I do that every time I do one of these Sugar Skull ones for her. I bought the pattern on Etsy, but right now the name escapes me, but I will put it in the box down below for you so that you if you're interested you can go and purchase it yourself then i made a box well actually i've made two boxes but this one is for my youngest daughter again it's a thread -a bead pattern that's the bottom of it this is the second one of these I've now made. I've got one for myself. This you make as, 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 as a separate component completely. Um, so if you want to, you can attach a brooch back to it. You know, make a separate one without putting and not put it on your box. Make a brooch back for it and wear it as a brooch in November for remembrance. That's the inside of the lid. And then the inside of the box with its 2023 charm. Poppies are not my youngest daughter's favourite flower. Um, but they do hold a special place in her heart because she is the county training officer for Wirral ACF, which is the Army Cadet Force. So she's very fond of poppies, but they aren't her favourite flower. But I just had to make that for her. And then for my oldest daughter, 
we have Nasty Jack. This is a Julia Prettle pattern. If you've ever been tempted to make something like this, you do need her little bead box. No, little bead boxes book to understand how the patterns work. I've been making boxes for a long time now and I, I just, I enjoy them. I like, I'm far more inclined to make something like this than I am something like this, a bracelet. I did make this a few years ago because I wanted a Christmas bracelet. It's a thread of bead pattern. I have to be a bit wary of what patterns I pick for bracelets and that because I've only got small wrists. So anyway, back to Nasty Jack. So there's his lid. And inside, and with his 2023 charm. Now this is one of three larger ones. There are three smaller ones which I've already done and gifted to her several years ago. But this one um, is big enough to hold a LED candle. No, tea light! All I could think was a little candle. It's tea light. It will hold a, uh, an LED tea light and it actually, when you put it on and it, it is dark, because these are quite translucent, you, you get to see his face all lit up. It's quite, uh, it's quite good. I have made quite a lot of Julia Prettel boxes. Maybe that's something I could do a Floss Tube Extra on in the future if anyone is interested. So there's that. My last beaded item is Stan the Snowman candlestick holder. I went on a course for this several years ago down to a little village called Hampton in Arden. It's um, somewhere around Birmingham, Solihull area. I can't remember exactly. I just remember it's called Hampton in Arden. This is, um, or was, I should say, a class piece from Oak Tree Crafts. I made one for me, I bought two more kits, I made one for my youngest daughter because she always has an advent candle. You can't actually burn the candle whilst in, in this but it's nice for display. So I've now made three so myself and my, my two girls now all have a Stan the Snowman and I just I love his holly on his hat. I do, I do enjoy making those those holly leaves in particular. They're so simple to make. It's lovely. There's the bottom of him. And then he's got his, his scarf with a few little little beads on the end that sort of wiggle around. Right, so the last one is the one that I've yet to make up. You may remember when I was changing things over from one box to another. I found my little FFO, my little house, you know, it's this big. Well, I also found this that I stitched many, many, many moons ago. And I thought, oh, oh, I could make that up in for, because I never knew what I was going to do with it. I was, I just, I stitched it and got put in the box, didn't know what I was going to do with it. And I thought, do you know what, I'm going to make that up for Jeanette. So what I'm going to do is make it into a scissor fob. I've picked out this fabric to go at the back. And I've got this ribbon to hang it. So I will stuff it with walnut shells. So there's got a little bit of weight to it for her, but that will be in her Christmas box. So, so that was every, that's everything I wanted to get shown to you today. So I hope by the time you see this, it, as I say, it will be to, between Christmas and New Year. So I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you've had lots of stitchy goodness and... and a little bit of time to stitch, not necessarily huge amounts, but a little bit of time because it gets so busy. We all need that bit of de-stress, don't we? Have a lovely new year and I will speak to you in the new year. Bye.